Right, grade elevens, welcome to today's video in which we are looking at phase three with regards to your pet. So let's get right into this. Let's scroll down um, to where we're looking at phase three and see what we need. Well, first of all, we need a report. Now, this report is nothing new. This is going to be the document that we had in phase one. Okay, um, we modified that in phase two. And now we're finishing everything off in phase three. The report must have a cover page, table of contents, must have an introduction, uh, it must have content, right? Remember, this is everything from phase one and phase two. It's now going to have findings, and with the findings heading, you need to formulate two appropriate claims, arguments, or findings that are appropriate and relevant to the investigation. These claims need to be supported by relevant data and uh, drawn from information present in the report. Right, to address what? The original problem. We need to have a conclusion, a bibliography, and then they just chat a little bit about some technical aspects like spelling and headings, you know, fonts, all those, all those type of things. You also then need to create a website. The website must have at least a title, an introduction, functional navigation system. In other words, you should be able to move through the website quite easily. Um, have a, a, a good layout. You should have different elements in it. Um, you can have graphics as well. You want to use good standard English. So this is just what you need to uh, focus on. And, and that's, that's it for phase three. So when I look, I'm just going to take uh, one of these over here. Am I still in phase two? Sorry, phase three. And... Here you can see I've got a report, right? So the learner's got the cover page. They've got the automatic table of contents. They've got the task definition there. You've got the focus question that has been answered. Also have discussion and analysis. So there from uh, phase two, the learner's taken a screenshot, popped that in, said what that is there for, um, showed the image and the, the proof of the questionnaire as well. Here you can see we've got a link to the questionnaire database, right? We've got our findings here as well with appropriate headings, um, a conclusion, and then it goes on. Um, these are the tables that were there from phase one. Remember the questions, the level, the type of source, the bibliographical information. So all of this is here, and this is what you should be presenting as your report. Again, this is just a typical example of what it should look like. Okay, so I'm going to run through it again. We've got our cover page, table of contents, task definition, focus question, discussion and analysis, uh, our findings, conclusion, then the tables. Remember, you created three tables in phase one. Uh, you then created the bibliographical tables as well. This learner's just put everything in one. So that's also fine. And then let's see further down again, our bibliography. So that's what your phase three report should have. It's the idea is that it's meant to be a combination of phase one, then phase two, and then putting the final touches on in phase three. Right, then we have uh, a website and the website's supposed to be based on what you've obviously done in your pet. So here you can see, the learner popped in a heading, they've got a title, they've got a horizontal line, um, they've got paragraph tags, they've inserted a picture as well. I can navigate very easily through this. There's a table that's been inserted and you must have a link to at least one other page. When I click on this, boom, that works. Sorted, lovely, okay? So let's go and have a look at the rubric for phase three. All right, the report. If we've got an introduction that gives a clear overview of the problem, the purpose of the investigation, there you get your four marks. If in your port, in, sorry, in your report you've got at least three appropriate headings, those were those uh, uh, headings re related to the discussion or the content, right? You've got relevant information grouped together. You've got headings similar to phase one. There you'll get those marks as well, right? They go into some more detail on this. All the information used in phase one and two, and all the data and graphics used in the relevant, sorry, are relevant to the investigation. So if you've used that, 
you're going to get marks as well, up to four marks for that. And if you're providing arguments with supporting information, you have at least three claims or arguments with supporting data and information and a meaningful explanation of why the evidence supports the claim. There you go, another four marks, okay? Then our findings or recommendations, again, same story. If you tick these boxes, if you've done everything as they've asked you to, here's your four marks. And just for having a conclusion, a conclusion that's drawn from the info in the report that's meaningful, uh, you will get those marks as well. Very importantly, grade 11's plagiarism. If we find that uh, <laughs> you've plagiarized, in other words, use somebody else's work, uh, just did the copy and pasting from the internet, you can get penalized for that. So just be careful of that as well. You want all sources to be acknowledged. Okay? Right. Then we just have some technical aspects. You know, what does it look like? Is it using the appropriate captions, styles, all those things? Um, cover page, what does the cover page look like? The ease of moving through your document. Do you have page numbers, hyperlinks? You've got all of those things. And that's why I say, check out the rubric. It gives you a fantastic guide as to what you need to have. Okay. And then just the last thing on that, you can see readable fonts, appropriate line spacing, headings, all of that. That's another four marks. And that's what takes us to a total of 43 marks just for the report. Just for the report. On the website, the general aspects of the website, the general appearance, how it's organized, um, you know, just being able to move through it. Does it have graphics? Do the graphics all work? Do the images all work? Is the information relevant? Is it of good quality? Um, you know, do you have hyperlinks to other sites? If there's no plagiarism, if you've done all of that, grade 11s, you'll get those marks. If you've done anything outside the curriculum in terms of tags, there's an extra two marks. And just because you've done all of that and you've shown commitment and pride in the work, you'll get a bonus two marks as well. And that's what takes you to 32. So I want you to understand that the website and the report count for over 70 marks of your PET. Okay? So that's what's required from you for phase three, your grade 11 PET for 2021.